In this Figma tutorial for beginners, I'll show you how to create such an amazing website design from start to finish. We will recreate the design of landing page for my new video editing course. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out the final design we create in this video anytime. And now let's get down to business. At the beginning, we create a frame, the frame tool. Yes, and the dimensions are 1920 in width and in length. Let's just continue with the size of our frame. Let's call this frame landing and let's start working. First, let's make a dark color right here. We take this dark color, and now let's add. Let's add text, the text tool. And we write edit like a pro in CapCut 2024. Now we make all the text bigger. Here we can set the size, for example, 62. And the font is Montserrat. You can make it even bigger. 70. Even bigger. Too much. 82. Let's make the size 82. Put the text in this way. Hold Alt and C. The distance from the left edge is 177. I want to put 80 pixels. Well, let's make it an even 100 pixels. You can go even bigger. 140 pixels. Now let's add a description. Tool. Text. We write the text, so now we'll add a description. And write this description or the one you need. Montserrat. Medium. 24. Introducing our headline. That's it. Now we need to make a button. We click the frame tool and a frame is created. We go to the file and now we draw the button. We make this size plus or minus and round the corners here. Now we choose a color. I'm going to use this blue color and put the button here. Now let's add the drop shadow effect. Here, here, here. Blur 35 and the opacity is 50. We added lighting. We add text to our button and align it horizontally and vertically. Now we need to add a second button. We can copy this one by holding down Shift Alt Text, change it to learn more, align it, and now take the fill and drop shadow, add a stroke. Color, it is also blue. Outline thickness 3. Change the color of the learn more text to blue, and that's it. The purchase button should stand out the most. Because we have a course that needs to be sold, people should see the purchase button. It should be a button that catches the eye. First and foremost, this button should be striking first of all. So let's add the next step. Our logo will be just the text Steve Editor. The font is Montserrat Semibolt, and let's set it to 24. We align it relative to our bottom text. The distance from the top is 80, from the left is 140. Our logo is ready. Now let's add it. The navigation menu. We will have block, main, program, tariffs, FAQ. First of all, we write main, program, tariffs, FAQ. Now we change the font here to medium, and we need to do add auto layout so that the distance from our text is the same. Right click add auto layout or shift plus A. This will create the auto layout. Now here on the right, we can adjust the distance. Between the text, let's make it 100 pixels. We align the text in the center and relative to our logo. So now we need to give icons like this for our social networks. To do this, go to Components, Page, Iconify. Here we write Instagram. Find the icon you like, then TikTok, and now Facebook. We find a similar icon to the previous one. So now we select our icons and change the color to white. Transfer the icons to our frame. Align them relative to each other. Make them the same size. We can also give this an auto layout. Right click and align. Set the size to 10 pixels. The distance to the right we should also have 140 pixels. We need to make the icons a little bit bigger. Okay, now we need to add our photo. I already have it ready. I pulled it out of the previous landing page. And we put our photo. Okay. Now let's add icons, CapCut, you can find them on Google, write CapCut Logo PNG. I'll take the ready-made ones. We will place them somehow beautifully, for example, uh, one here, and one somewhere here. We'll make it smaller. Now effects layer blur, and blur it by 10 pixels. Now we have the impression that it is in the background, so let's set the opacity to 35, for example. I also added a grid to the background. You can see it. Uh, here's how I do it. I take it, and I use the line tool to draw a line. 
The color is white, and I start copying the lines on the right. Copy. And now we create a group for these lines, Control plus C and Control plus V. We flip it over and we create a grid like this. Make it bigger by holding down Shift and dragging it to our frame. Move it to the very bottom. This was the background. Now we make the opacity 25 pixels. You can even make it less than 5 pixels, and that's it. Now let's add lighting behind us. Take the tool, Ellipse tool, draw an ellipse and move it under our photo. Align it as we need it. Go to Effects, Layer Blur, Blur 50 for example, and we'll make the color white. And that's it. Let's make the blur even more than 100. We can make it another 150, 350, 350 and opacity 50. Okay, now we have the light. Now let's start making the next block. To do this, we're going to first bring the entire first block together. Hold down shift and select all of our objects. And click yes, not all of them. Yes, the grid is fixed. And now we select all our objects except the grid. And that's it. And now we create a frame by pressing the right mouse button, frame selection. Now we have everything in one frame and we can move it. So now we need to add all this to one frame. We select all our objects by holding down the shift key, except for the grid in the background with the right mouse button frame selection. Now let's create the next section. Select the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse like this. Let's stretch it out a little more. We're going to move it over here and align it in the center. And the color is white. Let's start doing the next section like this. Let's add another cap cut logo. That's it. We write the next heading. Okay. Copy the size from here. Copy the Shift plus Alt heading from here and move it here. And we take the black color and write what you get. Now align it in the center. Raise it a little bit higher and look at the distance here. Let's say we have a distance of 120 pixels and add these blocks with the words. To do this, create a square frame. For example, 420 pixels by 420. Add an outside stroke and round off the corners by 25. I want the color gray, so we're going to do this. The distance from the header will be 80. Now copy by holding Shift Alt to the left and copy to the right. We have created two of these. Now we've created three blocks for the description and we can add some icons here and add a description. I'm copying this description. So we write the first text, add it here. We need to make the frame bigger. The width, we can add a little bit. So now we copy it again to the left and on the right. Now we need to add some text. Text, second text, and the third one. We select all the text, and let's make it even. So now we'll add the plugins Iconify, the video icon, and now the instruction icon. So add the settings icon. Add it, and the learn icon. So we're done with this block, and we're moving on. I see that I want to correct those buttons and the text. Raise them a little bit higher so that the distance from the top and bottom is the same. Moving on, we needed to continue making the block. So we, for example, take this circle, go to the rectangle tools, and we draw. This is a rectangle. Let's try the white color. So all these blocks and this text are made with frame selection. Now we have a separate block. Now, copy this text below. Well, it was 120 pixels away, and here we also make the distance 120 pixels. We write course program. Align the text. Now add the course program. I want to make a list like this with numbers and a short description. One is written. And now we set the color and gradient. We'll have blue at the top. And the bottom is also blue, but we'll remove the transparency. We'll have a text like this. And let's do it. Four points. Change two, three, four here. Align the distance, 60 pixels, okay. And the distance, it should be 80 from the header, because before that we had 80. So now we take all this, shift, alt, and copy it down. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we need to add the text. You know, there's probably one more thing I want to change. Here's the color of the icons. Gradient. We make the same gradient as we have here. Course program is like this now. Copy, for example, this text and start filling in the text here. Okay, we've added the description and I still want to remove the color and just make a stroke. Outline, size three. Gradient. We will have a blue gradient again, but there will be more transparency at the bottom. And now we should have three videos here with examples of our videos. So we'll make stubs for now and we'll add the videos when we make the site.
We can take, for example, this frame. Make it a little bit smaller by removing this text and this icon. Copy it to the left and right. We get three blocks like this. Now let's add a video icon to make it clear that there should be a video here. And place it here. The color of the icons will be gray. Great. Now we have just written and added all this. Let's add a frame. Again, select all and frame selection. We go further and copy the course program down. The color is white. And write the text. Now let's add blocks. With prices. To do this, I copied this block again, but this time I will remove the stroke by selecting Fill. Is this what we're going to remove? Let's make this frame bigger. We'll leave the text for now and add the title text. The size is 32, so add the text for the title. Montserrat Bold 36. We align in the center, so let's place our headline. Add a description. And also, add a button. We can copy over here. Put it here and we have a button. We're going to align the text a little bit. Yeah, that's great. Now let's add two more blocks. From tariffs. And we'll add the text that we need to add. Good. Let's move on. The next block is the FAQ. We need to make it. These are the ones. Blocks with questions. To do this, we create a frame. We make it, for example, this size. Round the corners with fill. So now we have a frame like this. Let's add the text with the question and add a cross. To do this, we can take a line and draw a cross. Three pixels, copy it, flip it over, we have a cross. Let's add another frame. This will be the background for our text. 25, for example. Fill, the color. The gray is not so gray a little bit. That's it. You can round the corners even more. For example, 45, that's great. And now we're going to write the text here that will answer this question. Add the text and align it. Now we just copy it. These are the questions. And change the cross to a plus sign. We finish the FAQ block and we are done. The last thing left to do is the footer. Again, we take the frame tool, draw a rectangle, remove fill, stroke, white, the outsider, for example, 5 pixels, we give it a split, now we just copy the navigation menu, here we align it in the center. Let's add our social media icons, add the learn more button, and add the logo. We'll also add additional text where we have the privacy policy link, and also write all rights reserved. Congratulations, the landing page is ready. The final version of design you can see on my website, link in the description. And if you want to see more Figma tutorials like this, write in the comment section about it and watch this video. See ya!